Welcome to our immersive viewing room and a chance to take a closer look at some extraordinary lots from our upcoming sale. I'm Barney Bartlett, a cataloguer in the Islamic and Indian Art Department at Christie's. These two extremely rare suits of armour come from Lahore, dating from the first half of the 19th century when the city served as the capital of the Sikh Empire. The rarity of these suits is twofold. Firstly, it's very rare to find two such complete sets. Secondly, rare because the empire was so short-lived. Nearly four centuries earlier, Sikhism had been founded by Guru Nanak against a backdrop of the establishment of Mughal rule over India. Yet despite the core teachings of selflessness, equality and unity, by necessity a strong warrior tradition quickly became intertwined with the Sikh religious identity. The aim was to protect the fledgling religion and its followers from persecution. The militarization of the Sikh faith is credited to the sixth guru, Guru Hargobind. Having seen his father, Guru Arjun, arrested and executed by the Mughal Emperor Jahangir, Guru Hargobind followed his father's advice, and maintained a permanent retinue of 52 armed Sikhs, and created the army of the permanently armed Akali, or Immortal. Over time, the Sikhs grew in power, eventually establishing an empire. The one-eyed Ranjit Singh, known as the Lion of the Punjab, became the first Maharaja of the Sikh Empire in 1802. It can be difficult to attribute armour definitively to the workshops of the Sikh-occupied Lahore without there being inscriptions or without them being distinctively Sikh pieces, such as you can do with Sikh turban helmets or chakrams, a circular throwing weapon used by and associated with the Akali Sikh warriors. But with these suits of armour, we can make this attribution through close comparison with the form and decoration of examples in the collections of major museums, or that have been sold at auction with a known Sikh provenance. The high quality work visible on our two wonderful examples relate to the fine workmanship found in other products of the renowned Lahore armories. The chain mail is a particularly beautiful feature of both suits of armour and features three colours composed by alternating steel, copper and brass metal rings, which would have required painstaking work on the part of the armourer. Both helmets have a diamond lattice camel or neck guard. On this armour, the male shirt is a diamond lattice and the trousers are decorated with zigzags. This dual colour design is termed Ganga Yamuna, so called as it represents the coming together of the Ganges and the Yamuna, India's most sacred rivers. These two armours of course have many more rare and unusual features. For instance, the right bazu band or arm guard on this armour has a very rare wicker bracelet. The chevron pattern is in keeping with the overall decorative scheme and we can only presume that this bracelet held the guard in place, acting as insurance that the guard's the right hand, the sword-wielding hand, did not come undone in the thick of battle. For an in-depth analysis of the different components and to learn more about these armours and their many features, viewers can use the interactive and immersive options to explore the lots in detail.